The reason I got into wrestling because I tried football before and I'm like, oh, I don't really like this. And I'm like, my dad suggested that to go wrestling and which worked out great because we had a wrestling team just opening. And so I tried it out and then that's when I find, found the love for the sport and just made me feel great. Every time I do it, I always just get that special feeling like this is where I belong and this is my sport. So, yeah. so uh, what encouraged me to go wrestle was because my mom, instead of letting me play fifth grade football, she, I mean fourth grade football, she made me go wrestle because I really, really wanted to play football. And she's like, before you play football, you have to learn how to wrestle because then it teaches you how to work your body. And uh, what was really cool about wrestling was before I would just play these sports where it was more of a team sport, like soccer, baseball, all the other sports that have like team aspects, but this one was you win or lose, it's all up to you. Fireman's carry. Explain it like. Like, so it's basically where you have to hold the elbow and when you go down on your knees, you grab the leg and then you put your head down to the mat and then you swim over and get a under like half half no like kind of like a half Nelson and you get on your toes and then you put your other hand over the person and you drop your weight which pins them what about you Brecken uh I was a favorite fireman's but then I changed to the outside I like how you do it the outside is when there's multiple ways, but you just shoot an outside single. So if someone's standing like this, this they have right leg forward and left leg back. The left leg's your outside single. And so you get that. There's multiple ways you can cross, like lift it up and then cut their leg and just drag forward. And uh, you could go break down where you just circle and then they'll eventually fall. So, yeah. And the outside. I'm always getting nervous, I'm always getting the butterflies, but Coach Simon always says, once you step on the mat, the nerves go away, just wrestle. And that really helps me because I know that, and me and Mike even know that, no matter the outcome, Coach Kyle is going to be there and be, hey, you're going to have to do this and this and fix that, and you're right here, and he always has a slogan that, if we're like not doing the best on our shots, he says, what's the difference between good and great? It's yes, much. much. Coach Simon, uh, I don't really have one word. I have more of like a way to describe him because he, he goes into detail with like the younger kids, but he likes, he teaches us in a way where we can set the example for the younger kids. And they, as me and Bracken both know that those little kids look up to us. So what he said last practice, he was like, "We want you to get this perfect, so then the little guys, when we take this drill, they'll know how to do it because you're doing it right." Which is, which is preparing us later on for life for when we have to set models for our kids. We always say a prayer because we always want Jesus to be with us on the mat, so we know that. We're Catholics and Jesus will always be there through the high and low. So, yeah. And we're looking to come up with good outcomes from state. But if we don't, Kyle said that it's not the end of your seventh grade season, it's just the beginning of your eighth grade season.